This is a um, demonstration of how to connect a Micron expansion, channel expansion, to um, a Micron 5 2T. So we have a Micron 5 2T here um, powered on, and there's three ports on the back, one for your temperature inputs, one for a lap beacon, and then for your can or PC expansion here. Um, so we have a Micron expansion module here. Um, we have one PT100 uh, temp sensor plugged into it, and we're gonna plug this in and configure the Micron expansion. So you're gonna take um, the expansion port uh, connector, which is that five pin connector, and you're gonna connect that to the expansion port on the back of the device, like so. And when you start to plug it in, the device is gonna go through a firmware update should at least if you have not if this is the first time that you're plugging in an expansion box so there also is an external power input for it um, so this device has already had the firmware update done but effectively you're going to have to wait for a few minutes while the firmware update gets uh, done to uh, recognize the micron expansion uh, module um, so in order to configure this, what you can do is if you go to the menu options and then select system settings, when you have a, an expansion box connected, there will be this new option that's available here that looks like expansion setup. So you can see a whole bunch of devices connected to one Micron 5. So when we enter in that, you can see that there's two channels that have already been configured just from previous settings here. Um, so what I'm gonna do is select channel one I'll go to the, the function here. So this is where you define the, the, the sensor type. Um, so you can have throttle potentiometer, brake pressure sensor, um, a water temp. So that's a PT100 water temp sensor, um, a speed sensor, steering angle sensor, a generic zero to 100% sensor. Um, so on a brake pressure sensor, this first brake, apologies, was a uh, brake uh, position sensor. Uh, power valve for two-stroke engines, which is called the gas valve, so that's showing the position of the, the power valve itself. So that's a kind of off-on potentiometer. Um, tire temperature sensors, so those are infrared tire temp sensors. And then a generic zero, zero to five volt input, so you could, um, you could receive any zero to five volt input here. So what we are going to do is configure it as a water temp sensor. And then the sensor type is PT100. We'll click select. It'll recognize the, the, the part number of the sensor for that particular configuration. And then uh, that's basically it. When we click exit, it will show the live temperature of this particular sensor. Um, so if we unplug the sensor, obviously, from the device, it's going to go from 96 Fahrenheit to 608. So that's what happens when there's no sensor plugged in. That's full scale. Um, and then when we go back, um, other settings are just as normal. If we want to um, set up something different, let's say we want a brake pressure sensor, we'll click select, and then it'll give us uh, an AIM 0 to 200, uh, 2000 PSI or 0 to 160 bar. Um, so there's a few different pressure sensors that you can uh, utilize here. Um, and then it shows the voltage ranges, and that's it. So when we go back to home, the only sensor that's plugged in is this uh, expansion um, water temp sensor. If we want to configure what the screen looks like, um, we'll go to settings again, and then we'll go to display setup. So the first page is RPM and lap time. The second page is speed and lap time. Third page is custom one, custom two, custom three, custom four. So we'll go to We'll make this custom one, we'll enable it, and then we will go config. So right now, in order to select um, what channels are being displayed, it's only going to recognize channels that are plugged in. So if we click select, um, we'll go water temp sensor expansion for this first one. So it recognizes that it's connected to the expansion. These are all the available channels. 
so water. Um, let's make this other one internal battery. This one will be external battery. So right now we are not connected to an external battery. The Micron um, expansion module uh, can be used with uh, external power uh, patch harness. It's actually recommended um, for extended battery life. And then this last one we will make head temp, which is not plugged in, but it's configured. And then we will click exit and we will scroll through the pages here. This is the second one and this is the third one. So head temp's not plugged in. There is no voltage external. Your internal battery voltage is 3.8. The battery's around 70% right now. And then uh, this is the water temp sensor that's been plugged in. So that's just a general overview of how you can configure different types of sensors um, with an AIM uh, Micron 5 expansion uh, module.